Now, what I'm going to do now is we're going to show you um, a demonstration. Okay, and, and this is a, I like doing this part because we used to do it on a video. And the first thing I want to do is go here. Okay, I'm going to show you this demonstration. Uh, I will need some tap water. All right, and uh, now, just so the people know, the reason we use so many different waters here is because I want to make sure that you are at least using one of these. Okay, so you probably recognize your brand, and if you and and, and if you don't drink one of these, then you're drinking tap water, which will be here. Okay, and I made some water, and the last one will be Kangen water, which is what you're drinking. And I want to show you the effects of the water because when you see it live, you can really see what the water can do. Because, you know, when you first hear about it, it doesn't make sense because water is just water, right? But if you think about it, wine is not just wine. Gasoline is not just gasoline. There's close, so many different grades of things. So obviously the water, there, there are different grades of water. And uh, let me make sure I, you guys did this right. Okay, hold on. There's something wrong here. Because I cannot do this. Oh, here, that's correct. This is the wrong one. Okay, let me just put this here. Okay. There. And then that. I know this well. Okay, perfect. All right. Now, for the new people, as far as oxidation, in other words, ORP. This starts at 280 plus, plus 280. So up here, I put it from starting at the worst. This is the worst. And it goes all the way to the, like, the worstest, okay? <laughs> whatever, I don't know. You know, whatever. Worst, worster, worstester, really worst. I mean, it really gets bad. And then it gets to the really bad guys, you know? This is really... You know, that's, that starts out bad on that side. Now, the tap water, which is this right here, always comes out at plus 280. It comes out just like the sunny over here. Okay? Now, the only time the meter ever goes to negative 300 and up is when you hit the Kangen water. It's got the highest antioxidant. Now, the second thing I want to show you is called alkaline. All right? So, the alkaline part... Because every book says it's healthy to be on that side. Now, this is the Sani, product of Coca-Cola. Okay? And uh, where is the pH tester? Somewhere here. Right here. Okay. Watch this, okay? This one is Aquafina, product of Co uh, Pepsi-Cola. All right? You got Smart Water. You have Fiji, Avion. This one is what I drank. Because I shopped at Costco. It's called Crystal Geyser. Okay? Then you have the Arrowhead, the Vitamin Water, the Gatorade, the... Uh, 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 this one will represent all soda. Okay? The 7-Up. And then, in the end, you have Kangen Water over there. All right. Now, take a look at this right here. I don't know if you can see that, but take a look at that. Look at this. This is one of the top-selling brands. Product of Coca-Cola, only product sold in many different places. Their marketing is phenomenal, and look at how acidic it is. Is it acidic or alkaline? I mean, look at how far it goes. And people drink this today. Look at, look at this one. Pepsi-Cola, of course, I have to compete. Look at this one. It's called Smart Water. What's so smart about that? It's so acidic. These two always come out right here. See that? Neutral. Why? Fiji and Avion are good water. However, they, have, uh, they do oxidize you, and they're not microcluster. And the last part is they have what they call, uh, I'll get it, they have what they call uh, a little bit pricey. You know, we, we tested some, I think we found seven of them that were pretty pricey, more than the rest. One was called Voss, V-O-S-S, -S, something like that, okay? And by the way, for the people, what I'm putting up here is called the pH tester, all this, this, all this does is check out the alkaline or acidity. It's the same thing that your pool man uses. Now, look at this side over here. See, look at the one I used to drink, Crystal Geyser. Look at it. It's so acidic. It's on this side. And I thought it was good, you know? Look at these ones right here. Wow. Look at this one, Gatorade. Supposed to be good for you, right? 
Athletes drink it. Athletes don't take it home with them. They leave it on the field. You're not going to sweat like an athlete. Okay? Look at what you leave inside of you, how acidic it is. Now, soda, wow, soda's the worst. And any soda, by the way. Now, tap water always comes out neutral. Why? Uh, the government, it's government regulated. They put chlorine in the water to clean, to, to clean the germs, right? And then they put lye, L-Y-E, to protect the pipes. Mm, you, you check it out, all right? But that's what turns it that color. Now, look at the water that you're drinking. Look at this. Look at that. Against my shirt. Wow. It is like regal, royal, purple. And all books says that is very healthy for your body. Because if you drink this water right here, this water, what will happen to you is you will start to become alkaline. All right, you're counteracting the acidity that's going inside of you. If you are acidic like this, watch what happens. Look at this. Look at that. Look at how you start to become alkaline more and more. It's unbelievable. And it's not the color of the water. Some people think it's the color. It's what you're drinking. Here, look at this. Look at that. See? When you drink this water and you're acidic, your body eventually becomes alkaline. Look at that. See what happens? And it's the water, okay? Now, unfortunately, when you get to these guys, uh, look at this, Gatorade. Nothing, okay? Same with Propel. Nothing. Vitamin water. Air, look at this one. This guy tries to fool you. Okay, he tries to pretend he's alkaline for a second. He's gonna try to fool you. Don't blink your eyes. Okay? You notice? He, th he goes, I'm alkaline. Nope, you know you're not. Okay? Now, check out this one right here. Look at soda. Here's soda right here. Nothing. Soda is the worst for you. If you drink one cup of soda, one cup, you need 32 cups of Kangen water to neutralize the soda, the acid that's in that one cup. Four pitchers. Okay, we're not saying to stop it. We're just saying to lighten up and balance it. Soda is so acidic that, here, this is what I know. If you have a car and you pop the hood and you see the battery cables and there's battery acid on it that you can't remove, put soda on it. All the guys know it. It'll disintegrate it, okay? If you have a stain in your driveway, oh, here's a good one. Tomorrow, go get a penny. Tonight, go get a penny, a dark penny, oxidized. Put it in soda. Tomorrow morning, you will see it's shiny. The soda has eaten through the oxidation that's been there for years. Unbelievable. And then we drink it, okay? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's like, you know, oh, by the way, when we were researching this, we found out that the leading cause of death in children uh, 14 years and under in the United States is cancer. That's just a fact, okay? And the reason that, that, that threw me off is because when I was 14, none of my friends had that stuff. None of my friends had diabetes. None of my friends had all the things that the kids have today, okay? What's the diet's kids today? Kids diet today, beginning at uh, three years old. Happy meal, supersize it, big goal, make it large, that's soda, okay? Let me show you why. Because if your body is alkaline, which everything's, every, every information that I got says is you're healthy, and you put soda inside your healthy body, what will happen is your body will become acidic. You do not have a chance. And by the way, this is diluted, okay? So I'm just trying to show you, so it's very, very, this is very good information. And, and uh, you want to, oh, by the way, if you want your kids to stop drinking soda, show them this presentation in your home two or three times. They, a lot of them stop drinking the soda. The adults keep drinking it. They don't get it, okay? <laughs> the kid, no, 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 really, the kids get it, all right? So you want to give them the, the you want to show this to them. Now, 
the next thing I want to show you is called microcluster. All right? Here we go. We're almost done. Now, this part I didn't know. The water you're drinking is tiny because what, that, what this does is it splits the water and it charges it and it becomes tiny. And for the people who don't believe that, I'm with you. Because when somebody first told me that, I said, water is water. Right? Well, it's not. This is called Yamamoto green tea. Okay? And to make green tea is very simple. All you need to do is have a tea bag. Okay? We'll do a couple of them here. And you have to have a tea bag, you have to have a cup, and then you have to have some water. Okay? Now, so let's make some tea. Okay, now, question, why is that not making green tea? It's supposed to be green tea. You're missing one ingredient, heat, you got to heat the water, because it's too cold. Tap water, it's not, it's not going to go through the, the, the tea bag. When you heat water, it becomes smaller and smaller, all right? Let me ask you something, when you go to make sun tea, where do you put it out? You don't go out there and put it out in the moon, right? You put it out in the sun. Why? The sun heat, today would have been a great day. That sun would have heated that, boom, right? You notice sometimes it gets stronger. It depends on how the water is heated, okay? It's not going to penetrate. But this water is called Kangen water. It penetrates you at a cellular level. It has the ability to completely do different things in your body, okay? Look at this. I want you to see something. This because this was when I first saw this, I could not believe it. All right, that that water did that. Here, check this out. It's really weird. Look at this. Look at how fast. Not only does it pull out the tea, it pulls out the flavor, it pulls out the color, it pulls out the smell. And if you taste it, it's 100% green tea right there. Oh, by the way, just so you know, this is not some kind of a trick. Watch this. Same tea bag, okay? Different water. Look at that. What happened? It can't penetrate through. The water is too big. I know, I know it doesn't make sense, but here, check it out. Look at that. I mean, it's unbelievable. Am I the only one freaking out up here? <laughs> Because up here, the color is like boom, 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 you know? You can make 20 of them. And it keeps pulling out. Hey, you want to have a tea party and save money? You know? <laughs> so, by the way, you know, look at, you can do 20 of them. Look at this guy. He doesn't know what to do. He's confused. That's why our motto is, change your water. Change your life. I mean, it's unbelievable. So again, anyway, let's go to the third one. No, no clapping. This isn't a trick. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's like, wow, that, that's like, whew, you know. But when you start drinking it, because I was with some, uh, the, the, some, some nu nutritionists for some major, 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 major uh, teams out there, and they're telling me about hydration, how important it is. Okay? It's not about how much water you drink, it's about how much water you're utilizing. Right? And this helps you utilize the water because it penetrates you at a cellular level. Now, the last thing I want to show you is this. Okay? How do you cook your fruits and vegetables? Because this unit, as I said before, it makes five types of water. All right? Let me show you one of the waters it makes because how do you, not cook, but uh, how do you wash your fruits and vegetables? You probably do it like I do, and like everybody in this room does. Okay, I'll put this one over here. Okay, so we're going to show you something. If you press this button right here, this button down in the bottom, it will make water that comes out of here that will do what you're about to see. Okay, as a matter of fact... If you wash your fruits and vegetables, you probably always go to your sink. 
I don't care if you have reverse osmosis. I don't care if you have a wa water filter. It doesn't matter. You're going to go to your sink to clean the fruits and vegetables. So we're going to sort of simulate that and put some, and, and, uh, and by the way, these are very good tomatoes. I just got them uh, from pavilions. And, um, okay. All right. This will be good. Okay, cool. All right. Let me see. Maybe we ought to do one more. Okay, do this. Okay. Okay, is that cool? All right. Now, normally you'll take tap, you'll, you'll rinse your fruits and vegetables underneath your tap water. Let's say you have a water filter. You'll still rinse it underneath the tap water. Okay? Just like that. Now, let me show you this part right here. I'm going to uh, rinse the other one in what we call strong Kangen water. This is the water that comes out when you press that last button. It'll come out the top. And by the way, I pre-made some. And just so you guys know, all this is is water. It's the same water you're drinking, except it's two points higher, which makes it more alkaline. And it kind of makes it more of a cleaning agent water. And things that it does is incredible. So I'm going to rinse this one in this water right here. And then, while this is doing what it's doing, well, I want to show you, before it happens, I'm going to show you why it happens, so you know. Okay? This is called sesame seed oil. And I use dark oil because it's better for the, for the people in the back. They can see it better. Okay? And this is just like any oil. So now, okay. What have you learned in school about oil and water? Oil and water don't mix. It cannot. I don't care how many times you do this like this, it will always do that. It'll separate. There, you can see it from the back. It'll separate. I don't care what kind of liquid water you put in there, it's going to separate. Okay? But you're not drinking regular water. This is called Kangen water. All right? But it's water. Oil and water don't. What did the water just do to the oil? It emulsified it. It broke it down completely. That's why people's results are happening. Look what it does. And it's gone. It emulsified it, broke it down, not like this one. That's why when you drink the water, be careful with this one, man. It'll make the place smell like Chinese food, okay? It's really strong, okay? But anyway, when it goes inside of you, it has the ability to do a lot of good things, all right? Including break down things, as you see over there. Now, I want to show you what happens when you clean your water, your tomatoes, let's say, in the, in the water you do, okay? This is what you will take out normally. These have been soaking for a while. Okay? Look at that. Now, I want to show you what happens if you clean your fruits and vegetables in that water. This is what you'll take out. And also, if you wash your fruits and vegetables in this water, it will last weeks longer because you're removing something that causes it to oxidize. And when I first saw that, I said, what is that? Because it ain't green tea. 
you know, you know what it is? It's pesticides and germicides and insecticides. So we wanted to find out how does this work. We went up to Fresno. Jerry, uh, myself, who else is with us? God, we saw the plane that goes shh. I mean, it just, last time we saw a helicopter that it looked like a rake, about from that side to that. But it's chemicals that come out. And when we asked the owners of the place what it is, it, they said pesticides. It's oil based. And we said, what, what, what takes it off? Nothing. Why? Because the next day they irrigate, or it rains really hard. Okay, I thought it rains hard, it comes off, and the plane comes again tomorrow. Rains hard on Friday, the plane comes on Monday. Rain hards on Thursday, the plane comes on Saturday. No, plane comes once. It leaves stuff that you cannot take off. And that's what, you, that's what you remove. And by the way, again, I always say, documentation always, always, always beats conversation. Okay? I want you to see... And uh, I want you to see that you should see what comes off some of the other vegetables and fruits. You wouldn't believe it. You should see what happens with rice. You should see what happens with pasta. Wow, incredible. Okay. All right, a little bit more. And then the last one here. Okay, go ahead and taste it. You know, t t I want, some of you won't be able to taste the difference. Your palate depends on your palate. But, you know, humor me. Try it. Taste it. Hey, didn't the person who brought you here tell you they were going to take you out to dinner? Here it is. Okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay? <laughs> okay. But, but taste that because always documentation. That's the best. But, but taste that. And uh, some of you will have such a good palate that you'll be able to taste the texture. So some people, it depends on your palate and how, you know, but try that out, okay? Now, if you tasted the first one, I want you to taste the way you normally clean your fruits and vegetables. Okay, all right, let's try this one. Just see if you can taste the difference. I don't know, some people can't, you know, but I think some people will be able to. Let's try that one, okay? Okay, okay, this one, and one more. Do we have one more? One more, okay, on this side. Now, some of you might not be able to taste, but the second one is washed in water. The way you do it. It's, so, it's soaking in water. Okay? By the way, you should see what comes off of like, there was this pre-washed, organic, ready-to-eat mushrooms. <laughs> not. Wow. It was like brown gook. Okay? You would never eat it when you see what comes out there. But that's what it takes out right there. Okay? But again, you should see the difference in taste when we did two uh, be between grapes, incredible. Blueberries, unbelievable. Pasta, incredible. So, honestly now, how many people in the room honestly could taste a difference, a bite? Look at that. It has a bite, right? Well, it's because you're tasting that. That's the bite right there. When you do two grapes, one is sweet and one is, has a bite. It's because you're removing that. So again, that's the unit right there. And I just want to let you see the unit. And then we are here. Where is it at? Oh, there it is, right there. Real quick explanation on the unit, OK? This is the SD501. This is our flagship product. It's designed to last 20 to 25 years. You can install it in 10 minutes. And as a matter of fact, it installs very quickly and uh, it starts producing all these different types of water. What happens is when you have it installed on your faucet, you can do spray, flow, or when you shoot it to this, it goes through a filter, and then it goes through seven platinum-coated titanium plates. The water is then charged, and it's split. One side of it comes out here. It comes out antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, 
it comes out very alkaline and microcluster. On the other side of the hose, it's discarded, the water that's bad. And uh, by the way, uh, uh, it has a five-year warranty, and it uh, lasts, um, like I said, the ones we saw out there anyway, they were lasting 20 to 25 years. Now, this unit runs 3980 And when I first heard that, I said, what are you, nuts? But what it did for my mom, you know, today, if I couldn't replace my unit, 50 grand couldn't buy it. If I couldn't replace mine, okay? And I'm sure a lot of people who've had it for a while feel the same way. But still, four grand was a lot of money, right? But here's the way I thought, see? Let's say it lasts 15 years, because I'm a fairly good consumer. Let's say it lasts 15 years, and uh, um, if you divide 3980 into 15 years, that comes out to 73 cents a day, 73 cents. Okay, so I have to invest 73 cents, and then in 15 years, it pays me back so I can get fresh water. My question was, was I already spending 73 cents a day? Are you? Look at that. I had a friend last week who said, I spend, we spend $50 a week for our water. Well, when I checked out us, my family, we were spending 7 bucks a day between mine and my daughter's Fiji and, you know, the, when she was doing the Sani, and she, seven bucks a day we were spending. You know how much this is? This is a dollar. Pick one up on the way home. There's a, they're a dollar. Cost them very little to make, like I heard, like pennies to make, but they sell it for as much as a can of Coke. They, have, they put no caramel, no cocoa, no sugar, no nothing. They don't even put it in a can. But they have the American public. The marketing is phenomenal, so everybody buys it. This is a dollar. We were spending seven dollars a day to buy bad water. Here was my choice. Maybe it's yours. Seven dollars a day, 73 cents. Here I get about 12 bottles. If I shop at Costco, I can stretch my seven dollars to about 15 bottles. Here I can make a thousand bottles in the morning, a thousand bottles in the afternoon. I can make 5,000 bottles in the evening before I sleep to give away to everybody. I don't know, if you visit one of our facilities, like the one in uh, Los Angeles, Torrance, you'll see five machines there working 24 hours a day, nonstop, because people are in line to get water. I mean, it's unbelievable. This unit right here, you know, it, it was, this one right here is what? It, it's acidic, alkaline. Healthy, sickness. Environmental nightmare. How many of these do we throw out there and then say we're green? Okay? This one, zero. I mean, th this one lasts forever. I pay for it one time. This one I pay for forever. There's the difference. If I'm 99 years old and I go to the store to pick up one of these, they will still charge me. This one right here, it starts paying me back. It was a no-brainer. And then when the guy said, well, it could possibly be tax deductible for you, that, that, no, I mean, it was incredible. So again, when you purchase the unit, you become the, you become the manufacturer, and you can make as much water as you want to give away. It makes three types of alkaline, 859095. The only rule with the alkaline, and by the way, you can start at 85 and move up, or you can be like me who wanted to feel it, and I said, I want to start at 95. Anybody here start at 9.5? Okay, you know then. Here's the side effects. Number one, you might get a head rush. It'll go away. Number two, if it doesn't happen, it's not going to happen. Number two, you're going to detox, which means it's going to clean you. Very good. Number three, you're going to sleep better. Why? This is what Dr. Dave Lessman told me. Because it hydrates your brain. Your brain produces melatonin. Melatonin supposedly helps you sleep. I, I'm not a doctor. Again, that's what a doctor told me, though. Okay, and then the last one is called um, it, it, your energy the next day is going to shoot up. When you're drinking the water daily, your energy is way up there. So that's why there's several sports teams using the water now. Again, the unit, um, um, you can finance it. You can pay cash for it. They can do check. They can do 